but we want to begin tonight live in East Lansing. That's where our Kaylee Marantet is this evening. Kaylee. Jeff, many students and people living in the area coming out of this first vigil at Martin Luther Chapel with another one set for seven o'clock tonight. Many still coping with the heavy reality of what's happened in the last 24 hours. Uh, focus mainly on the victims and their families instead of the awful man who did this. So now students like Katherine Johnson are doing this. I can't imagine losing a friend or a family member because of this and I don't understand the pain that they're going through, but I have my own pain and I feel for them. We were sitting there listening to the scanner last night and uh, we're hearing names of buildings that we've all laughed at, dined in, had classes in, talked in, hung out in. Like that's that's it's just surreal to hear like the choppy voices of a, of a clearly flustered um, but did a great job um, police operator. Um, just say that there's fatalities in buildings that you've had great memories in. Senior Julia Wallace was in one of those buildings, about two over from Berkey Hall, where the shooting started. I was kind of just like prepping my body to be hit. Um, and once we hit the outside doors, everyone just like started sprinting to the cars. It was a mad dash. Whatever training you get, it doesn't prepare you for when you're in the actual situation. Now students, the East Lansing community and the nation are trying to answer this question. I really don't understand why someone would come onto a college campus and kill a bunch of teenagers. Um, I don't know who like is so evil to do that. There is another vigil set up at 7 o'clock tonight in about an hour at Eastminster Presbyterian Church. We are allowed to bring our cameras in there, so we'll be sure to bring you updates from that vigil as well as throughout the night and tomorrow with the latest information. Reporting live in East Lansing, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.